Warning. Although my content is usually family-friendly, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such, will contain blood, language, suggestive themes, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, everybody. Artie and Marty are back for more exciting adventures in the courtroom, I suppose. Hi! So, we gotta go to trial today, because Maya's trial starts today. And we're, it looks like we're going to be cross-examining April May. So <laughs> I'm super oh, excited about this. That's going to be fun. We're also going to meet the mysterious prosecutor Edgeworth. Oh boy! September seventh, ten a.m. District Court, courtroom number one. Let's begin now. <laughs> the court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgeworth. I better not show any signs of weakness today, or he'll be on me in an instant. Ooh, man. Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder. And we He's have right! And we have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. Oh, Why do you say he's lying? <laughs> they, they have literally no evidence that they did it. Well, they got the, they got the bloody receipt, but I mean... That's it. it. And they're like, Maya! Yeah. <laughs> like, Everyone it. knows the victim always is the one who writes the <laughs> bloody note, right? Oh, boy. But besides that, they basically only have April May's testimony. So hopefully this will be pretty simple to get through. Yeah. I don't know. Hopefully it will. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin, then. You may call your first witness... <laughs> That's a nice typo. That's supposed to be the judge saying that, but no, yeah. it's Edgeworth. <laughs> you may call your first witness. The prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshoe. Gumshoe! Gumshoe! Oh, Gumshoe! Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir! My name's Dick Gumshoe, sir! I'm the detective in charge of the homicides down at the precinct, sir! Detective Gumshoe... Please describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir. Let me use this floor map for the office to explain. Oh, smart. The body was found by this window here. Oh. Looks like a, <laughs> it looks like a Coke bottle. And the cause of death? Loss of blood due to being struck by a blunt object, sir. Blood. The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker found next to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hand, sir. Well, how even how sexist. Wow. <laughs> wow, dude, come on. The court accepts the statue as evidence. Okay. Right now. They're still calling it a statue. Floor plans added to the court record. Those look terrible. Now, detective? Y yes, sir. You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir! I had hard evidence she did it, sir! Uh... Hmm. Detective Gumshoe, please testify to the court about this hard evidence. Go for it. Witness testimony! My face arrest! Oh, boy. So, yeah, we get Gumshoe before April May today. Okay. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Why? We had a witness account describing her. <laughs> The witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. Uh, what about, why didn't he arrest hmm. the male? The very moment, you say. Because April May said that she saw uh, Maya. Okay. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Cross-examine what? I couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Whoosh. Smack. Hey, Maya just threw something at me. What's this? When my sister couldn't find any contradictions in a witness's testimony, she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. Well, good advice, I guess. <laughs> the witness always slips up and says something wrong. It works lots of times. Wait, that's kind of what we did in the first case. <laughs> I should have expected Maya would know some of her sister's tricks. Oh, yeah. All right, let's give this a try. Well, I mean, you already gave this a try, Phoenix. Come on. Yeah, Can you see us the, pressing everything in the first case? Something the matter? You look oh, no, pretty nothing. surprised. We just got no, hit your by Honor, a piece of paper. I'd like to begin my cross-examination. Yeah, Maya literally threw a no, paper airplane like, at us. Cross-examination by a face of red. 
best. <laughs> no, Edgeworth looks great down there. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. Well, press already. Oh, oh yeah, we can't use the microphone. We actually have to touch the button. Whoops! <laughs> oh, wait, shoot. No, go back. Come on. Hold him! <laughs> <laughs> who did you say you got a call from? My hey, pal! Don't point dumb! You know who! The call was from a customer at the Gatewater Hotel, right across from the crime scene! Hmm, okay. I pressed. Not sure it did much, though. Right, please continue. There were already two people there already. Hold it! You said already twice! To take the gumshoe, how long would you say it took? For what? <laughs> nice comma there. <laughs> Between you receiving the call and your arrival at the scene of the crime? Hmm, right. I'd say it was about three minutes. That is insane. Th that's pretty fast! Okay, who is close Our motto this month is quick response. That's how I got there before the killer got away. <laughs> Indeed. So, tell us who the two people you found on the scene were. Yeah, apparently they were right there. Yes, sir! The defendant, Miss Maya Faye, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Uh-huh. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't arrest Phoenix Wright. I don't know, I feel like they would have at least questioned him if he was He, he was in questioning the whole night. Oh, was he? Yeah. I he don't, didn't sleep, I don't basically. remember that at all. Uh, Hold it. Poor dude. Are you absolutely sure it was us? <laughs> Listen, pal, your dumb act will only get you so far. Dang. With her funky hippie clothes and your spiky hair. You two stand out like like suspicious people at a crime scene. Come on. <laughs> that was the first case. Well, he does have a point about her. She is pretty unmistakable. And you with your blue suit. I should pick my points to both press with a little more care. I immediately arrested my effect. Why's that? What's your reason? <laughs> Shortest That's it. whatever. Why we had a witness lag. account describe her. Hold it. Hold on just one second. Y yeah If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did it, correct? Huh? Did did I say that? Me? Yeah. I heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. Exactly what about this suspicious woman in Pink's claim was hard evidence? Well what? Miss May isn't suspicious, and she sure isn't pink, pal. She's pink. W well, I guess she is pink. That's enough. Detective Gumshoe, do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, Detective? Um... Hmm, I guess pressing can have its advantages. Yeah. Yes. Gah! Sorry, I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. Uh... There was something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. Man, oh man. Man, the, the judge is very lax about the gumshoe. It's a witness testimony. Hard evidence. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Lab test results showed the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. Who would, write, who would write the killer's name? How do you like that? That's my hard evidence. Who would write the killer's name? The person who got killed and had enough time left over? Hmm. Before we cross-examine, cross I have a question for you, Detective. Y Your Honor. Why didn't you testify about this vital piece of evidence the first time? Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, I know. I'm real embarrassed I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful. Thank you, Your Honor. Good grief. At least he has a little common sense. Very well, the defense may begin its cross-examination. Cross-examination, hard evidence. Let's go. Let's go. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own- Hold it! And did you find any evidence? No. <laughs> now, now, don't jump the gun on me, pal. Just listen, I'm getting to the good part. Sure, sure. I got a bad feeling about this. This isn't Star Wars, Phoenix. Found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the- Hold it! <laughs> Just because you found it next to the body doesn't mean the victim wrote it. Thank you, Phoenix! <laughs> <laughs> like, only if they had enough time left over. Ho <laughs> ho! Then who did write it, smarty pants? The real killer. Uh, who? Um... The killer? Miss May? Ah, I did! Ah, uh, clearly you wrote it. <laughs> oh man, these are gonna be great. Well... Let's see, what should we pick? Uh, well, let's just do these one at a time. Let's start with the killer. The, the killer! Anyone can see that. Ho, oh, you're saying the killer wrote her own name? Buddy, please. 
She was framed! Hold on. If that's the case, where's your evidence? Ah. Mm. <laughs> ha! I guess that was a bit of a tall order for you. Those without evidence shouldn't open their mouths, Mr. Wright. Yeah, pal! Ah! Well, Detective, tell us what was written on that memo you found. <laughs> Liked Edgeworth's objection voice, did you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> objection! Alright, Miss May. Well, it could have been the witness, Miss May. Hold on. The witness was in her hotel room, not the office. Try pulling the other leg, Mr. Wright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! And while you're at it, pull mine too, pal. What? What does that uh... even mean? Ah! Well, Detective, tell us what was written on that memo you found. I wrote it! <laughs> I did. This is gonna be great. <laughs> it... It could have been me! <laughs> what?! So it was you?! No, 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 I'm just saying it could, could have been. been me! Can you prove it wasn't? <laughs> Hold on. So you admit to this? You admit that you wrote the note? Uh, Listen to me, Mr. Wright. This is a court of law, and I expect you to refrain from making faultless statements. Oh, jeez. Amateur. <laughs> Stupid. Well, Detective, tell us what was written on that memo you found. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Hold it! Do you have proof it was Mia who wrote that? Of course I do, pal! Uh-oh. He sounded pretty confident. This might not be good. <laughs> well, is it ever good, Phoenix? Let's no, be honest. It's, it's always like you press something bad happens. Lab test results showed that the blood was the victim's. Oh, yeah? What was it in her handwriting? What kind of tests were these again? <laughs> yeah, uh, like... Blood test? Handwriting test, hopefully? Huh? What kind? Uh, well... I hear they take the, uh, little bits in the blood. The, uh, hemo... Hemogl... Hermo... Goblins... Hobgob... Uh, Hermo... Globin... Bobbin... I, I refuse to testify on this matter, sir! I'm no expert on blood tests! Yes, that was quite clear. <laughs> you may continue with your testimony. Good job. Thanks, pal. I mean, your honor, sir. Detective Gumshoe. Y yeah. I think you can expect a pleasant bonus in your next paycheck. Uh. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. That was a mess. Right. Where was I? I can never tell if Edgar was being sarcastic there. Or if he actually was know. saying he was, could look forward to it. On which hand was the bloody finger of the detective? The right hand. Hmm, she was right-handed. Ha ha ha! Nice try! Uh-oh. I guess it wasn't too, it was too, wasn't too hard to see what I was getting at there. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name! Her own sister's name, though? Detective Gumshoe, do you get a lot of cases where the victim actually writes the killer's name? <laughs> sure! It happens all the time with books in the movies. This it's isn't a movie, movie detective! <laughs> Oof! Let's talk about reality, shall we? Oh, man. Um, I guess I haven't heard of many cases, no. Don't you find it a little odd that the victim would write down a name? Especially the name of her own sister? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's weird. Ah, uh, yeah, actually, you got a point, pal. Oh, no, not you again. Stop right there. <laughs> the witness's opinion on the matter is irrelevant. The facts are clear. The victim wrote down the name of the accused. Um, no, they're not. <laughs> the victim told us the name of her killer. They're written in her blood, but, like, she died instantly. Or, or. Yeah, that's what it is. That didn't go so well. Th that's right! What he said! So we just gotta figure out which one to press on. It's a presented on, yeah. Yeah, because it, if she died with the... Oh, are you gonna show the attorney's badge? <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. Autopsy um, report, yeah, it says right there, died instantaneously. So then that's what we're <laughs> gonna have to do, phone. probably. No, it's obviously the cell phone. <laughs> the glass shards. <laughs> Objection! The finger said that she died instantly. <laughs> oh yeah, we still have the wiretap. That'll be important later. Yeah, death was instantaneous, and therefore she could not possibly have written the killer's name. All right, now let's just use that. Objection! Detective Gumshoe. There's one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You say that the victim Mia Fey wrote this note. That she was accusing the defendant Maya Fey? That's really what you're saying? Wh what? This isn't one of those lawyer tricks now, is it? Of course she wrote it! Who else could have? 
You have it backwards, detective. B backwards The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. Oh, yeah. This is a report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. She died immediately! But... No bunning your way out of this one, detective. <laughs> <laughs> I like his boots. Yeah. Order, order! The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have had the time to write anything down. Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? Uh... <laughs> do you remember? <laughs> no. When? The day of the murder, the day after the murder, I forget. <laughs> I mean, you do forget. Um... Uh, it was the day of the murder, Day right? of the murder, yeah. Oh, I mean, we might as well try them all, right? Sure, sure. Day of the murder. I, I'm i pretty sure it was the day of the murder. You're wrong there, pal! Uh, we didn't write an autopsy report till the day after! Oh, right. The prosecution's point being... Oh, uh, yeah, this is where it all loops back. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, it was the day after the murder. It was the day after the murder. The prosecution's point being... Alright, that was I boring. Forget. I forget! I'm... Sorry. I forgot. <laughs> ha! Forgot, you say? It was the day after the murder, Your Honor, sir. I was the one who handed it to him myself, personally. Oh, right. The prosecution's point being... <laughs> I love the finger wagging. That autopsy report is outdated, Your Honor. Oh boy, yeah, this this kind of begins a long tradition of updating the autopsy report. Just so the prosecution gets their own way. W what? A second autopsy was performed yesterday, at my request. Death was almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object, but there is a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I received these results this morning. N no way! Your Honor, it's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write Maya. That is all. I see. Damn you, Edgeworth. I should have known you have something up your sleeve. Yeah, he forges evidence. Why, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. Yeah. Uh -huh. Something you want to say? You're a sham, Edgeworth. This detective's a sham. I'm, I'm a, a sham! sham. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are going to be great. You're a okay, sham, Edgeworth. Edgeworth. Mr. Edgeworth, I've heard there's nothing you won't do to get your verdict. What reason could you possibly have had to request a second autopsy report? Mr. Wright, the defense will refrain from personal attacks on the prosecution. <laughs> no matter, Your Honor. Mr. Wright... Say what you will, the evidence in this report is undeniable. Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. Uh, understood. The court accepts the evidence. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> this detective's a sham. Detective Gumshoe, you're a sham! How could you give me a faulty report? Huh? Uh, I thought... Detective Gumshoe... Uh, I'm disappointed in you handing him the wrong report like that. Huh? <laughs> I- I'm sorry, sir. Poor Gumshoe, the report wasn't made till today! You are at fault, Detective. This isn't going to look good on your evaluation next month. W what B but <sighs> Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. Oh boy, okay. I'm, I'm a, a sham. sham. This is gonna be good. Detective Gumshoe, are you calling me a fool because I believed your report? Huh? Me? Uh, I'm not- huh? <laughs> Detective Gumshoe? Uh I'm disappointed in you, handing him the wrong report like that. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, sir. I like how that went instead of like, being, I'm a sham! I'm the one who thought you were like, being like, Detective, are you saying I'm a sham? <laughs> I, I personally thought that was funny. <laughs> Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. Uh, understood. The court accepts the evidence. Autopsy report updated in the court record. Yeah, oh get, used, get used to that throughout the series. Uh... <laughs> That's kind of a famous vein. Well, Your Honor... The evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes. Bring in the next witness! Darn! This isn't good. That's what I wanted. The prosecution would like to call its Woo! next witness. This poor, innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. Oh, yeah, right. Poor, innocent girl. Let the witness, Miss April May, take the stand. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Exactly, I'm ready. Exactly what part of her is innocent? 
<laughs> oh no. <laughs> you don't have to do the hand motions. Witness your it. name, please. April May, at your service. <laughs> uh, oh wow, um, put on some pants, please. Yeah. <laughs> Order, an introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd. Woohoo! The witness will refrain from wanton winking. Oh yes, your honor. This is not good. She's already captured the heart of every man in the court. Well, Except at least it's him. not a jury. Tell us, where were you on the night of September 5th when the murder occurred? Yeah, May, where were you? <laughs> <laughs> I was at Burger King. <laughs> Burger King? Um, gee, I was like, in my hotel room? <laughs> I checked in right after lunch. And this hotel is directly across from the Fan Company Law Offices? Mmm, that's right, big boy. Please testify to the court about what you saw. Witness testimony, April May's account. It was like nine at night. I looked out the window, you know? <laughs> and then, ooh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. Did you now? <laughs> the one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Then the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. But then that girl, she caught up to her and, and she hit her. No, no. Oh! Then the woman with the long hair? She kind of slumped. <laughs> the end. That's all I saw. Every bitsy witsy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. Artie does not like April May. No, she makes me gag. Well, Your Honor. I love doing her, though. I see. It is a remarkably solid testimony. No, it wasn't! <laughs> It's a terrible testimony. I don't need to see any to trouble the witness any. Wait, your honor. I yes, thought... Mr. Wright. What about my cross-examination? I thought the witness's testimony just now was quite firm, didn't you? Oh, yeah, totally, kind of, wow. M Mr. Wright, I understand you and Miss Mia Fey's understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques well. Her cowardly way of finding tiny faults in perfectly good testimonies. Hey, how dare you? Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness? Yes, I'm doing it. <laughs> no thanks. Yeah, I'm, not <laughs> <And> I'm good. <laughs> no, you're right. I guess there wouldn't be much point. <laughs> I'm glad you saw the error of your ways so soon. Your Honor, the prosecution rests its case. W what? That's it? Very well. W wait, hold on. Yes, Mr. Wright, changed your mind. Will you cross examine the witness? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I better or I'll lose on the spot. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of dumb, Phoenix. <laughs> no kidding. At least they let him do it. Yeah. Well, glad we proceed with the cross-examination. If only because I have a feeling Edgeworth doesn't want me to. She has to have some weakness. Very well, you may begin your cross-examination. Okay. Cross-examination! April May and her terrible testimony! <laughs> <laughs> it was like nine at night. I looked out the window, you know? <laughs> I looked out the window, you know? You know? do that? <laughs> why, though? Why did you do that? Why? Why, huh? why did you do why? that? Why? <laughs> like, why what? Why did you look out the window? Were you expecting to see something? Oh, well, um, gee. What? That's it? She can't get out of the question that easily. I sort of, you know, <laughs> I had a feeling. Well, I have a feeling she's trying to avoid the question. Maybe I should press a little harder on this one? Press her! Go for it! Back down! <laughs> nah, we should probably back down. If I go too deep, I might not come back out alive. I'll back off for now. You looked out the window. What did you see next? No, 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 we should go. Go for it! Go for it! Okay. Let's see how far I can run with this. Surely you must have had a reason to look out your window at that time of night. I... Ooh! <laughs> Crazy eyes. Mr. Wright, I will not have you badgering my witness. Well... <laughs> like a badger? <laughs> badger, badger. B badgering? What does that even mean? I don't know. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? You insist on needling her with these trivial questions. They're not trivial! I really don't think it should be allowed. Her witness accounts... Yeah! Yeah! Stop him! The poor girl! Order. Mr. Wright, you have been warned. Poor girl! What about poor me? No kidding. <laughs> you looked out the window. What did you see next? And then, ooh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. Hold it! The woman with long hair? That was Mia Faye? Um, mm -hmm. so 
slender sort of, well, some people might say pretty if that's your thing. She's way prettier than you, Maple yeah. May. <laughs> your thing? <laughs> and the person attacking her? The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. How do you know she was the defendant? Uh, well, you know, sh she had a girlish physique. Women know these things. So you uh, mean she was a girl? That narrows down the population physique. to half. <laughs> yeah, not all girls have curves. Look, look, I, I just know, okay? There was only one person at the scene of the crime with a short, girlish figure. The testimony is bulletproof, Your Honor. <laughs> That's not what I'd say. He's right. No, he's not. Yeah, he's right. Or I question the testimony. <laughs> uh, we need to question him, so no. let's do the other thing first. Her testimony certainly does make sense. And everyone in the court keeps siding with her. I'd better not press too hard on this one. So then, tell us what happened to the victim. Then the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away! Uh, really? Uh, hmm, I don't think so. <laughs> She dodged? Dodged what? Well, the attack! Uh, yeah. Please continue your testimony. Well, that wasn't that was worth it. But that girl, she caught up to her and she hit her! Hold it! How did you know it was my client? Huh? Well, I... Gee! First of all, she had a girl's physique. <laughs> and, and secondly, she was... She was small! Who else could it be but her? Mine is mean, sure, short. She has a point. You're right. I question the testimony. I, I mean, you would remember Maya not for her girlish physique. You'd remember it for her, her um, uh, crazy clothes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Maya's got a pretty standard teenage girl. But that girl, girl she caught up to her and she hit her! Yeah. I question your testimony. <gasps> Hold this on a minute! That testimony stinks! <laughs> <laughs> what? Miss May, I'm willing to bet that you saw nothing. You're lying. You're Ooh. lying. Ooh, both are good choices. Let's go with, uh, you saw nothing. Did you really see the defendant at all? Uh. Well? You uh. <laughs> Is she wearing just socks? <laughs> this time? Mr. White, what's the meaning of this? Yeah, what's the meaning? Somebody tell me because I'm clueless. About this, I mean. <laughs> Okay, if you had really witnessed my client, Maya Faye, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> you were so right. No one wears clothes like that on a daily basis, except her. And I'm no expert on fashion, but her hair looks far from normal to me. Sorry, Maya, just take one for the team on this. However, the witness's testimony mentions neither of these things. The testimony is bogus. <laughs> totally bogus, <Yeah>. man. <laughs> Still, we don't know if she was dressed in that way the night of the murder. Yeah, we do. She was, Your Honor. I mean, I was there. I saw her. And so did Detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss May? Roar! What are you trying to say, you mean lawyer? <laughs> Roar. <laughs> I, I saw what I saw. I just didn't think all the trifling little details were necessary, darling. Yeah. <laughs> Miss May? Yeah. <laughs> You what make I... me gag. This court would like you to remind you to please omit nothing in your testimony. <laughs> I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl. I promise. Yeah. Your testimony again, if you would. No! Why? I don't want to hear her again. Damn, I almost had her. Uh... Witness testimony. Miss May lied, so she's trying to tell it again. <laughs> oh, boy. I did see everything. I did. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. Mm hmm. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. Uh huh. And? Uh huh. <laughs> and she hit her with that weapon! I saw it! I did! That. that clock! Um, that kind of statuary clock! The thinker, I think? Mm hmm. Well, does the accuracy of my report not startle you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you see it already? Yeah. The I immediate see. thing I see is that, at least from the previous one... I only wish you had been so detailed from the beginning. <laughs> I mean, it looks like the thinker, but how did she know it was a freaking clock? Yeah. Please begin the cross-examination. She's like, well, oh, I just didn't touch you before. Then well, cross-examination, that's what we're going to have to do next time on Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Thanks for watching, everybody. Woohoo! Woo!
Woo! Next time we're going to be um, pulling apart more of April May's testimony. So uh, we'll <laughs> it's going to be excited. hilarious. So look forward to that. Marty will get to do more voice acting and I'll get to do more objections. Okay. <laughs> look forward to that. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless. <laughs>